Just 14, seven here and seven there. Not desperate yet. And uh, among the shorter stacks here, Martin's still under 200,000. So is John Keown. Martin may be all in again. Absolutely. If he's they all in. And he's got the snowman. He's electing to move all his remaining chips into the middle of the pot, putting pressure on his opponents, forcing them to pick up a hand. And look what John's picked up. Two sixes, Jesse. What's he going to do? Said you're going to knock me out, my friend. What's that? Yeah. Said you're going to knock me out, didn't I? Huh. You ain't got nothing invested. Martin just goading, goading. Keown into calling here. Yeah, so be careful, you might get what you wish for, right? Yeah. You're over me, aren't you? Huh? You're over me, aren't you? That's counts. I think, uh, yeah, I think Martin's got about 15,000 more than John. He's close, though. And about an 80% advantage if the hands get matched up. Not to forget, too, Jesse, that we've got more players left to act. I mean, he's got to be concerned about what's going on after him as well. He can't just forget about the small and big blinds here. It would be a huge mistake. Just like you, I wouldn't risk my tournament for that hand. Thanks to you, my friend. It wouldn't be John's style to call with the six, is it? It would definitely be his style to make the move, but not make the call. Yeah. You know, John's come a long way. Is that, you know, mid pairs? I don't think I could fold it. He's just doing a bit of banter here, just a bit of showboat, trying to get some kind of a feel, some kind of a tell from Martin, but Martin's not giving away anything. I mean, he might feel like he has to take a race on, if that's what he's up against, to get back in this tournament. But uh, Yeah, he's full. It was he's a bit of showboat. Use that information for a little bit later. That uh, 180,000 is pretty sturdy right now. It's around, only nine big blinds. Around to, uh, and Eric's moved all in. A real it. Oh, he's got, well, he's got the overcards. And a uh, straight race for Martin's tournament. Lars Schwecke will have over 300 grand behind. William shows pocket eights. Sixes. Sixes. Good luck, William. Good luck. Heart in the throat stuff right now for William Martin. Uh, this hand appeared to have played itself so far. Didn't it? Huh. Absolutely. How how good does John Keown feel right now? Right. Huh? Well, sometimes all you can do is do what you 20, must. 50. <laughs> Couldn't settle any better huh? myself, Jesse. Ace five. It's Bob Dylan or something. Ace five. Two hundred thirty. Obviously, want to make the make sure they got the chip count correct. One hundred seventy thousand. Yeah, the story is that uh, obviously William Martin will be playing for a 390,000 pot, which will oh, it'll put him it'll put him just about average chip should he win, and uh, Lars Shevek will be average chip should he lose, and uh, one of the chip leaders if he wins this pot. This will bring us down to 13 players. This is uh, yeah, this is where it's time to start. Praying, hoping, and looking at that lucky rabbit's foot. And the flop is king four six. So Eric takes the lead. Wow. Bad news for Billy Martin. Wow. It's end of the line Return stuff. Off. He's gonna hit to hit one of the two remaining eights. Yep. That doesn't change anything. He needs an eight and an eight only. Uh, it's a five space. Ladies and gentlemen, please from the main event. It wasn't to be, Jesse. He's played three long days and will get a nice paycheck for his efforts, William Martin. Hopefully he'll be buying the drinks tonight, but he's got to feel pretty bad about that. You know, you, you wait around, you hustle to try and survive, you pick up a hand, you move in, he got his hand in, he got money in with the best of it, but only a slight favorite, obviously. It was. Wow. What's wrong with that? Well, obviously, unfortunately, I'm a disappointed now just going out. But um, I've had a good tournament, played really good poker. Um, on the whole, you know, played really good. Um, won the races that I was in. Uh, unfortunately, the last race that I was in, I lost. And that's obviously the one that's gone out. But it's a really, really good event for me. I enjoyed it. Um, Ireland's been a very good place. And, yeah, I've enjoyed being here. It's just an example, Kieran, uh, if you hang around, you know, as soon as a rush comes... 
it can bring you right back into the thick of it. I mean, Keon now, 400,000. This is the most chips he's had in the whole tournament. He's been short stacked for days. And uh, he's got every chance. He's got every chance. Absolutely remarkable. Just remarkable. I, I'm such a big fan. I mean, this is unbelievable. I was talking to John's uh, buddy Henry on the, one of the last breaks, and Henry was telling me, you know, give this man a few chips, and uh, there is no stopping him. Hello. Nice. <laughs> 17 total. Oh 70,000 total. And of course, he's raising into a Hasim. He's got a quick cut. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, he's walking up on his eight. Oh, you said it, Jesse. Poor Mohammed has not had a lot of luck at this table. You're going to fold. Oh, okay, I'm in trouble then. It's impossible. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an all in here and call. You know, it's, it's amazing. Before, as these cards were being dealt out, Hassan was saying that his timing has been poor all day today. And, uh, exactly. And just as he says that, he walks into the bullets. Oh, it is such. It can be so cruel. Oh, well, there's just a little bit of room there for him. There's, the door is open just a tad. It has all gone wrong on this feature table for Muhammad, but he does have two live outs. He's going to need an eight, my friends, and an eight only. And we're down to 12. Hassan Muhammad. Done up. And he really didn't put a foot on the line all day, did he? It's just, it's right. The timing has been off. great. I mean, that ace ate a very reasonable re-raise, wasn't it? Yeah, and he's laid down to tens against the aces on a, on a nine-high flop. You know, he's played a perfect game, and he's going home. Uh, it's tough to make sense of this game sometimes, but uh, just very unfortunate. Look at that again. Uh, Muhammad, of course, the ace looking big in the big blind from the small blind raise, but just walked into the Rockets. I had a pair of tens, a uh, raise, a uh, raise uh, pre-flop. And I think the flop came, I think it's five or six sides, a very low flop. And I think the lad bet, bet about 120,000 or something. So I called that. And then I think a three came over, which means virtually there's a straight on the flop. You needed one card. And he moved all in. And I thought long and hard about calling that. I passed. Um, and that cost me quite a bit of chips. And in the end, I was down to about 200 and something thousand. I mean, the anti-structure is quite high. I think it's 50,000 every round. Had ace eight on the big blind, the chap raises and I re raise and he's got aces in the hole. Peter Linton there, he's just gone out. He had he had nearly a million in chips and uh, that fast play must have caught up to him. Oh that's unbelievable. That's and, uh, unreal. I think some of his chips went to uh, Tim Blake and the rest probably to Donald Nolan, if I'm not mistaken. I'll tell you what, Jesse, that's created quite a stir throughout the rest of the players because Peter had to be one of the favorites to take this title, and just like that, he's gone. 